Hey everybody, it is me, it's your old buddy, Steve Simonson, and I'm coming back to you today with another episode of the Awesomers.com podcast series, this being episode number 157. So just go to Awesomers.com slash 157, and you'll find links and uh, details, show notes, etc., regarding today's episode. Now, today I'm going to do a, a spotlight, or we like to call them Awesomers.com insights. So we're doing an insight episode. And we're going to do it about my axiom number zero. So first of all, axiom zero states the following. I don't know nothing about nothing. And I have repeated this phrase. Uh, it's thousands of times. I mean, countless times. Uh, I'm sure the people who I work with and the people around me get tired of hearing it. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's so prevalent in my thinking that... If I, especially if I'm stumped, I'll say, I don't know nothing about nothing. Uh, if we are facing a big obstacle or a big challenge, I step back and I say, I don't know nothing about nothing. So if you are a human being and you've ever faced a challenge and you didn't know what to do, or you're an entrepreneur and you um, think you know it all, or you're an Amazon seller and you think you have all the answers, uh, I just encourage those who think they know it all to take a step back and join the club of those of us who don't know nothing about nothing. And I wanna take you through some of my thoughts about this. So first of all, let me just start with a quotation from Socrates. Socrates says, true knowledge exists in knowing that you know nothing. Now actually, I didn't know about this quote until um, you know, recently, uh, in the last few months when I was looking for some quote graphics and things like that online. So. Uh, props to Socrates for copying me. I mean, uh, for me, to finding my way towards a Socrates level uh, thought. So the point is, true knowledge exists in knowing that you know nothing. And my axiom zero is, I don't know nothing about nothing. And notice how the, <laughs> the eloquence of the uh, two quotes are so different. Socrates sounds really cool and uh, philosophical, and mine sounds uneducated and idiotic. Nevertheless, that's just, uh, that's who I am. I, I, I don't know nothing about nothing. That includes vocabulary, apparently. So I would, I want you guys to frame this in the context of any major obstacle, challenge, decision, or even strategic choice that you have to make in your business. Uh, but it can also go down to the tactical level. Should we hire this person? Um, is this vendor a good fit? Uh, you know, should we increase our pay-per-click spending? any of these decisions, I want you to take a step back and start with a little humility. Uh, and I have to tell you, too often we see people showing off uh, fancy private jets, right? Uh, they got the, the cool cars and the, they're projecting a lifestyle that implies somehow that they've arrived, right? And how did they quote unquote arrive? Well, they, they, the implication anyway, that what they want you to believe is that they're super smart. You should listen to them. Uh, better still, why not just send them some money and then you can have a piece of what they have? Um, and, and rarely do these brag posts, whether it is on modern day social media or you know, some other mechanism, uh, rarely is it actually factual or true. Many, many times there's some other subtext. For example, uh, some of the millennials we see now taking pictures in private jets just go and hire the, the jet for a photo shoot, right? They bring in the makeup people and the, the location, and then they act like they're jet setting around the world. Other people, maybe they really do have all of this um, per, per wealth, but they, the perception is that they own it, but they're in massive debt. Um, and, and, you know, sometimes we see bubbles uh, implode, bubbles burst. Uh, one of the, my favorite, um, you know, types of these show-offs, these, you know, people are just bragging and, and so forth. One of my favorite original BS artists came from America's so-called greatest generation, although he was Vietnamese, the Tom Vu. And I'll put a couple old videos or links to his infomercials on the website. So just go to awesomers.com slash 157, and you'll see why many people believe that Tom Vu is one of the clearest examples of scam, scummy, slimy presentations ever. He's showing you, you know, beautiful women, mansions and boats and cars and planes and all the things, even a water fountain, uh, all the things that 
that imply wealth. And he's basically saying, you're dumb if you don't listen to him and send him money. And I, I, I bring up Tom Vu uh, partially because I grew up watching his stupid videos, but also to illustrate that, you know, for all the, the folks out there that are uh, younger and maybe don't know who Tom Vu is, more or less they're a current version of the, the same dumb idea of just show off, brag a lot, um, give the illusion of success and wealth, and maybe it'll come true. A lot of it comes from a place of insecurity. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of these people, especially those posting every three hours, drinking champagne and hanging out with the pretty people. Um, again, doesn't matter what they're showing off. They're trying to show you that you suck and that they're winning. And, and I just have to say that the truth is often far different than that uh, so-called reality that they project. I'll share another quote with you. Uh, Humility will open more doors than arrogance ever will. And this is by the great Zig Ziglar. So my experience shows me that Zig Ziglar, as usual, is right on the money. Uh, My point, and I believe Zig's point, is start from a place of not knowing. Start from a place of humility. Even if you have the skills or the knowledge about whatever the topic at hand happens to be, I implore you to set aside your bias, your preconceived notions, and prepare yourself to learn by accepting new input. Okay, uh, another quote for you. I'm a little quote happy today. Mastery begins with humility. Uh, Robin Sharma said that. And I, I truly believe this, right? You can't really go to the level that you need to go until you start from a place of, I don't know nothing about nothing. Uh, I have to say that, you know, I've mastered some skills. I'm, I'm pretty good at a few things, but I didn't start out that way. And yes, I certainly have my moments of, uh, you know, my ego and uh, I'm the smartest guy on the planet. But I more often than not, especially as I get older and learn the lessons, more often than not, I come back to my starting position of axiom zero. I don't know nothing about nothing. See, when you start with humility, you have the ability to compare data, you gather new information, and otherwise, your ability to make good decisions is significantly impaired, right? You gotta take that step back, prepare for the paradigm breaking moment. Now, I'll I'll admit, many times, your gut is right. So when you started the, the discussion, even if you try to set aside your biases, you came to an instant decision in your mind, this is good, this is bad. And I'll just admit, many times, oftentimes, your gut is right. Whatever the current situation is, or perhaps even the occasional crisis, you may know the right answers even before hearing all of the data. But I'm telling you, in addition to keeping yourself open for that you know, potentially new and paradigm-shifting breakthrough, you're allowing your team to contribute, to share their views, to provide you input. That is leadership. That is necessary. The best people do want to follow great leaders, and the best people do want a leader to be able to stand up and say, Guess what, everybody? Here's where we're going. Here's why we're going there. You know, get behind me. I'm leading the way. I'm leading by example. But they do want to feel like they're part of the journey, right? So the more you can uh, involve them and, and appreciate their inputs, the better off you'll be. And the the Amazon phrase, Jeff Bezos came up with this phrase of disagree and commit. So they have meetings, everybody gets their input, but at the end of the day, there's one shot caller. There's one person who makes the final decision. And if that's you in that particular situation, they should be prepared to follow even if they don't agree, right? That's the disagree and commit. So there's an old saying, another quote for you from H. Jackson Brown Jr. And that quote says this, every person that you meet knows something that you don't learn from them. And I just can't agree with that more. I I truly believe that we all have something to learn. And I I don't want to be, and I don't want you to be, and no awesomer can ever be one of those know-it-all scumbags from the TV or even now from the gram. Yes, I'm super hip. I'm with it. 
I've heard about Instagram. <laughs> I occasionally I even log in and try to figure it out. The point is it doesn't matter the media. It doesn't matter the, the distribution mechanism. If people are being a-holes, if they are showing off, or trying to imply that they have wealth that you can't attain or, or some other bragging type of thing, they're certainly not awesomers in my perspective and from my point of view. They don't resonate with me. I don't like them. I know other people see these uh, images and they, they believe they're genuine and authentic, which I'm going to say the vast majority are not to begin with. And then they say, gosh, I wish I had that. Right? So they're, those people are coming from a place of scarcity and the slimy guys and, and gals even um, on the gram or on the TV that are showing all this, they're projecting abundance. Right? So our, our natural FOMO brain kicks in. We don't want to miss out. That fear of missing out is, is uh, unyielding, and, and it always captures you. So take a step back. Capture Axiom Zero. And if you want to be an awesomer, maybe you can attain the, the intellectual status of not knowing nothing about nothing. I don't know nothing about nothing. I hope that you can know nothing about nothing very soon. Be someone that takes that step back to learn or even to be wrong. And that's when you're gonna find the best results for your company and your team. Now, uh, all you awesomers out there, I want you to take a minute. I want you to go to your favorite podcast platform, but especially Apple, subscribe, share, comment, tweet. I don't care what you do, but help us spread the word because we're doing this out of the goodness of our hearts. Now, I do wanna let you know that I, the efforts that I participate in, which include this free uh, content distribution mechanism called Awesomers, the uh, nonprofit member-owned co-op like Empowery, the high-end VIP Mastermind, uh, Mastermind Catalyst 88, uh, Parsimony.com, the new software program, Seller Chatbot, um, and so many other things I participate in. All of these efforts help me with my time to be able to, to uh, share with you. So I hope you appreciate it. I hope you go to Apple and leave a five-star review. Why not? I'm a pretty good guy. And since I don't know nothing about nothing, I could use all the help I can get. Uh, again, take a moment, go to awesomers.com slash 157 right now, and uh, take a look at some of the, the videos and the links and so forth that we've included there for you. It's worth your time. Do it now. Thanks, everybody. Awesomers.com slash 157 is donezo.